So I'm Darren Appleton, uh, and I'm a cardiologist here at VCS with an interest in both imaging and interventional cardiology. Well, we do quite a range of studies here at the endocardio. We do coronary CTAs for patients with chest pain, so that's looking at uh, coronary arteries, let's see if there's any high-grade coronary artery disease. Uh, we also do studies that help support our structural heart programs, uh, planning for procedures such as TAVR, which is the new transcatheter aortic valves, and for our uh, electrophysiology colleagues, uh, head of uh, EP ablation studies, they like to get CT imaging for that as well. And then we also do vascular studies for patients that have peripheral vascular disease, um, again to diagnose and then to start planning treatment for, uh, for those patients. FFR is uh, an abbreviation for something called functional flow reserve. That's um, a technology that comes out of the cardiac cath lab. Oftentimes we're uh, faced with patients who have uh, intermediate risk of having a particular diagnosis and this is it helps them to get a good diagnostic test uh, that helps uh, determine whether there's really a problem to be further evaluated without the risk of an invasive study. Typically the scans are very quick and usually we get the results back to them pretty quickly. In the CT world, that's a fairly new technique we have uh, that comes from a, a company called HeartFlow where we're able to send off the uh, anatomical information we get out of the CT scan. We send it over to them as a whole data set and they're able to use that and put it through their computers to do some computer modeling and determine from the anatomy if there's actually flow limiting disease there. We as a practice have been doing this for almost a year now, so it's, it is quite a new technology. Not many places are actually uh, offering that service at the moment because of how new it is. I think the uh, cardiac CT imaging is really one small part of what we do here at Virginia Cardiovascular Specialist, and I think it's nice that here we offer a wide variety of services right from the clinical stuff all the way through to the imaging, so I think we're all proud to be able to be part of that and uh, to really be at the cutting edge uh, of the new technologies that they come along.